Hello everyone! While leveling through the Shadowlands, exploring the different zones, meeting the different factions, we uncovered that Sire Denefrius, that he's actually in league with the Jailer. He has sent down a whole bunch of anima into the Maw, aiding the imprisoned Eternal One with its release. Long ago, we stood as one to imprison that monster. With the Primus gone, and Denefrius a traitor, our pantheon has been broken, and doom comes for the Shadowlands. There is yet hope. This mortal saved me from the Maw, and revealed the Sire's treachery. They aided my forest as well. Their kind has shown great potential. If focused, it could turn the tide in our favor. Agreed. For the good of the Shadowlands, each mortal must choose a covenant. And when our realms have regained their strength, we will stand together against the darkness. It's decision-making time. And in this case, we're gonna join the Kyrian Imbastion. They have long ferried souls across the veil into the Shadowlands, ensuring a steady supply of anima for all of the realms. Their sacred purpose must be kept strong, but the Rod spread thin, fighting the Forsworn, maintaining order amongst the Esperans waiting to ascend, and countless other duties. Our aid is much needed to help all follow the path, which is totally not flawed. The Archon was so confident that we would choose the Kyrians that she's arranged a grand reception to honor us. In this moment, we shall follow the path together. Come. Brothers and sisters, hear me. On this day, we have come together for a momentous occasion. The Moorwalker has proven that they are an ally not only to Bastion, but to all the Shadowlands. They have chosen to join our vaunted ranks to help us reclaim our realm. Behold our glorious Archon, she who was ancient when this realm was young. Step forward. Face your fellow Kyrian, so they may welcome you as one of their own. This mortal has not been long upon our path, but their strides have echoed throughout the halls of the Ascended. In service to our cause, they have defended our temples against invasion, exposed the traitor to Nathrius, and braved the terrors of the Moor itself. On this day, we welcome them into our sacred covenant Together, we will restore peace and order to this realm. Glory to Bastion! These brave souls are your kin now, Moor Walker. Welcome. While well, the other Covenants, they have a bit of a side story to go through, a small chapter of storytelling related to their domain. I couldn't find one for the Kyrians. They do get a cool intro cutscene and a whole reception and whatnot. At least that is something. Besides that, it's getting ready for the adventures ahead. One more step yet remains before initiation is complete. We must now enter Elysian Hold, entryway to the rest of the Spires of Ascension, and the vantage point from which the Ascended safeguard Bastion and their aspirants in training. Elysian Hold was built by the Archon to serve as our Covenant's base of operations. With the Jailer's allies encroaching on all sides, we must make full use of its resources. Bask in the glory of Elysian Hold. Magnificent, is it not? Much remains to be done to ready ourselves for action across the Shadowlands. In order to support the Shadowlands with the threats ahead of us, like Sire Denefrius allying with the Jailer, or the Forsworn right here in Bastion, we're gonna need to empower ourselves, empower our followers, and empower our Covenants. As we adventure through the Shadowlands, our connection to the Covenant, it grows ever stronger. Our renown does as well. A higher renown, it means greater rewards and greater power. 
We gather it by completing chapters in our Covenant campaign, by returning Anima to her storage, and by saving the souls from the Maw itself. But what is power if you don't show it off? Our forces are weakened by doubts, and our temples are under assault. If we are to aid the rest of the Shadowlands, we must begin here in our domain first, right here in Bastion. Today, we walk the path of courage by completing three world quests in the zone. The other denizens of the Shadowlands will call upon us for aid as well. And while this quest, and in the beta times, these calling quests, they actually gave you anima, not so much in the first week though, while going through it on live. The safe soul quest for Renown is also not available quite yet. So maybe this will be something that they'll add later, or maybe they've changed it. Either way, our first time doing this quest, it does reward us with anima, safely stored away within our Sanctum Reservoir. This power here, it can be used for many things. But this Sanctum, it, it can't function on anima alone. It's going to require the combined efforts of many different souls working together to unlock its full potential. Wouldn't you know it? We know of a domain where plenty of souls would love to come out. Come with us and be put to work. Back to the mall we go, where our broker friend Vanari, she helps us out, for a price of course. With the souls collected and brought back, we could start a first covenant upgrade. We could maybe lay down a transport network for easier traveling in the zone. An anima conductor to activate new challenges and adventures. Or a command table. Now, I don't think I'll have to explain what a command table does. Or we could go for the unique upgrade that's different for every covenant. In the case of the Kyrian, this upgrade is going to give us access to the Path of Ascension, an ancient rite of combat in which you act as a tactical guide for champions of Bastion, tested their metal against a series of powerful foes. Now the covenant abilities of the Kyrian, they have been restored to us, granted permanently while we stick with them, but there's even greater mind to be found by binding our soul to another. All Kyrians undergo this sacred ritual, or by typically many eons before they stand before the Archon. The soul bind is not an irrevocable bond. However, it is not one to be entered into lightly. We will experience one another's past, our hopes, fears, dreams, our very memories. If any of them still linger, we will become kindred spirits in the truest sense. Once complete, our connection will transcend physical space and make us stronger in more than mere brawn. Now in our case, our first soul bind is Pelagos. Aspirant Clea, thank you for joining us on this sacred occasion to witness the bonding of this outsider with Aspirant Pelagos. Pelagos? Clea, they saved me. And many others. It does make sense. I would be honored, Soul Guide. I just hope I can keep my bond with Clea as well. You shall. This ancient device shall allow your souls to connect. Simply reach out to one another. Lift up those around you. I feel everything by the Archon. What a life you have lived. As our renown grows, so too will our bond over time. But there is the ability to accelerate the process with the uses of conduits. We pick the different abilities that we want, the different paths our bond flows through. Great power, it awaits to be unlocked. It is done. May the power within your soul serve you well. That's the basic setup for the Covenant, and as I mentioned, the Kyrian, they don't really have much more beyond this. Maybe it's locked behind like a Covenant upgrade. Now we have been fully inducted into their Sacred Covenant, and may stand tall forevermore as a Kyrian. Last time, we joined the Kyrian and we set up our Covenant. In Bastion, we've dealt with the Forsworn threats, but it's still out there of course, waiting to strike. Now, more than ever, do we need Ascended to join the ranks. Our generous Archon has blessed us with a portion of our Anima stores to ascend our top aspirants to join the forces. The final trial before Ascension is perilous. As Pelagos is not ready, I insist that you join Clea in this final step. I understand. Clea, I have utmost faith in you. You deserve to ascend more than anybody I know, and I am so proud. Thank you, Pelagos. Your support means so much. My friend, I will meet you at the Court of Elation. 
How could so many Kyrian abandon the path like this? Why would they drag impressionable aspirants with them? Come, Akilon. Do not dwell on this. Let us help the others. Apparently, self-reflection is not one of the trials amongst the Kyrian. The final trial is to bear their first soul from the mortal world into the next. Now the Forsworn, they're not just gonna sit by and let us add more power to the ranks. They've taken over the court, but not for very long. We quickly kick them out, and we gather the incense of guidance to guide the way through the final trial. And so we begin. We hold firm in our ways, ever learning and improving ourselves in our vocations. We live in service. Not only to our own, but to the many souls of the universe who seek our aid. We stand strong, whatever we may face. No obstacle or tragedy may sway our fortitude. We maintain confidence in the order of the Shadowlands and our role within it. Doubt has no place in a Kyrian heart. The gateway's open! Though we may step through the same ones, each pair shall reach a different world! Good luck, everybody. May our paths converge in triumph soon. Let us go, my friend. It is finally time to cross the Veil. Welcome, Clea, to Azeroth. For your final trial, you shall bear a soul from a town known as Lakeshire amidst the Red Ridge Mountains. Azeroth, my friend, this is where you hail from? I am even more pleased to have you by my side. We will Please. not falter. I must protect my family. You cannot take me from them. Do not weep, Ben Howell. It is your time. We are here to aid you. Let us see your final moments. The graveyard? Why am I... No matter. I should get home to see if my wife needs anything. Incredible. But... Nothing seems amiss. Are we truly witnessing his final moments? In time, you shall see. These moments of peace are vital to understand this soul. Hey, Vernon. Boat spring a leak again? A bit worse than that, Ben. A rock tore a hole straight through the wood. I'll bring down some planks for you later, free of charge. We get to witness Ben Hull's final moments in Lakeshire. A good man, father of three, that lives out a quiet provincial life with his beloved wife, Sarah. A normal day in Azeroth. It's not filled with slaying epic monsters or farming shining loot. The regular people, they have regular problems, like collecting some rabbit meat or helping out their children in the garden. Once you're done, hurry back. I have a lumber delivery for the magistrate. Happily, my love. Hi, Daddy. Are you here to help me in the garden? <laughs> I am. It will just take a moment. I drank some of the lemonade. There's only a little left. Only drink it if you're really thirsty, okay? I'll save it for when I most need it. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. I love you too. Our trusty shotgun makes quick work of the rabbits. But this rabbit wolf, it's, it's numbing on a vicious ghoul. Interesting. And the whole town seems to be on edge. Something's in the air. Not surprising, as this all takes place during the Shadowlands pre-event. You could actually find Ben still alive if you checked it out in Lakeshire. See you soon. Supper should be ready once you're done. Don't dally. I'll be back before you can say rabbit in a hutch. He seems beloved by not only his family, but by his whole town. Such a simple life. What happened to bring him to us? Ah, Ben. We were just discussing reforming the town militia. Would you be interested in heading it up again? Sorry, Solomon. No can do. It's just a simple life of farming and logging for me nowadays. Magistrate, the Scourge are attacking. The Scourge? We must protect the townsfolk. Bailiff, sound the bells. The town hall is our best hope for survival. I'll start making preparations. The Scourge? No, none of these people will survive. There is no time to evacuate. All Ben can do is board up the windows, warn as many citizens as he can to hide in the town hall. If only the champions of Azeroth just weren't too busy farming a bag right now. Was it worth it, hero? Did you really need that extra inventory space? 
poor, poor Ben. Stay safe, my love. Children, inside. My family, I will protect you. Such a cruel death for a simple man. His bravery knows no bounds. You have earned peace in your afterlife, Ben. My family left defenseless. Your time on Azeroth has come to an end. Fear not, as you shall live anew in your death. Ben, I will protect your soul and escort you to a new world. The pain will pass. As it the must. Horn of Baleflight will call Ascended to carry you to Oribos. There, your charge shall receive his judgment. Ben, this is just the beginning. I cannot wait to see to which realm you are sent. You will be rewarded for your selflessness and bravery. So, yeah, apparently we kind of forgot to explain just a little thing to the Kyrian regarding the droughts. We were informed about the fate of the Arbiter, about why the Shadowlands is not getting their souls, getting their anima, but Clea is unaware. Oribos, it has been eons since I have stepped foot here. Now Ben will be presented to the Arbiter, who will judge his soul and send him to his earned afterlife. Wait, where are the souls? They should be streaming out of Oribos to their new realms. There they are. Where are they? They are all going to the Maw! Ben! I will. Shouldn't the Arbiter be sending souls to their new realms? Why are they all going to the Maw? The Anima Drought has afflicted more than just Bastion, Aspirant. As the Jailer's power grows, all the Shadowlands suffers. A great darkness fell upon our blessed Arbiter, plunging her into an unending slumber. Since that day, no soul has been judged. Instead, all are lost to the horrors of the Maw. I see. A fair few of you have actually asked about this. If the Kyrians are the ones that fly the souls into the Shadowlands, and all the souls are now just going to the Maw, then why don't they simply stop? If that anima is feeding the Jailer and empowering him to break free, if those souls are added to his ranks, why don't they just stop for a little bit? But you have to understand a really important thing. That is not part of the path. That is not part of the purpose. This machine of death, it keeps on rolling. Regardless if the Arbiter is functional or not. Regardless if the souls go to the Maw. We must follow the path. Though Clea might question the path, she is still resolute in her duties. Their trial, it was a success. So now, the next chapter of the afterlives can begin. If there is any art to take part in the ceremony, what an honor. Stand tall. Aspirant Clora, you are a fierce warrior and a humble instructor to those who look to you for guidance. Now you join the ranks of the Ascended as a disciple of courage. My axes are yours. Aspirant Sophony, step forward, speak. I would hear you. Aspirant Sophony, you are a smith far beyond expectation. You have proven your dedication to our ways by stepping up to serve those around you. Now you join the ranks of the Ascended as a collector. Aspirant player, step forward. Not only are you a mentor to those around you, but also a stalwart defender of Bastion. Now you join the ranks 
of the Ascended. Rituals, Archon. No more lies. Rise, my forsworn. Devos, you lead this rebellion? The Archon's blind edicts place us all in peril. We will forge a new path for Bastion. The spires of Ascension will belong to the forsworn. Ascended, repel this assault. Paragons, with me. Devos must be stopped. The Archon has spoken! Defend the Hold! For us, this whole betrayal and motivation of Devils, it's not a massive surprise. Considering that they released the Ufer short on the YouTubes, and despite of Ascension Dungeon, it's been available since the start. It's not really a surprise anymore, but for the Kyrians, it definitely is. The Forsworns are on the assault, so we have to push them back. All of the wards on the other temples, they've been brought low, leaving all of them vulnerable to assault for future world quests. Worries for later. For now, their commander has taken the audience chamber. We have to confront him. Come, mortal. We shall settle this between ourselves. Your Archon has lied to you. Failed you. Devils blazes a new path to justice. We will see her glorious vision made real. Kyrian. All Kyrian. The Archon the denied me my final rituals. justice. Devils, ensure that monster suffers where he belongs. <sighs> Enough. Elysian hold does not matter. With the crest of ascension broken, your forces will dwindle. The Spires of Ascension will soon belong to the Forsworn. Devos shall save the Shadowlands from the drought and lead us into a new era. The Forsworn are retreating, at least from the Hold. Return to us, we must regroup. Ufer's vengeance upon Arthas, being allowed to drop him into the Maw, it has secured his loyalty to the Forsworn, but keep in mind that not all of them are aware that they're actually in league with the Jailer. It was quite the assault upon our temple though. The Crest of Ascension has been destroyed, in a time where we need Ascend it the most. We'll have to figure out a way to fix that, later. For now, Clea would love to join Pelagos in Soulbinding with us as well. Come, let us retreat to the Soulbind Chamber. I must admit, when you first arrived in Bastion, I saw you not as a person, but an answer to my woes. You quickly proved to be much more than that. A strong ally, a shoulder to lean on, a friend. When you returned to Bastion, we were elated by the news. You have come to be a friend we both rely on. In the end, you even helped me achieve my dreams. Become ascended. I am honored to soulbind with you. Keep a calm mind. We may have pushed back the Forsworn here in Elysian Hold, but it was only a distraction to split our forces. At this very moment, the Archon and the Paragons, they fight to retake the Spires of Ascension themselves. We have to get our allies, enter the Archon's seat of power, confront the Forsworn, and slay Devils, Paragon of Doubt. We are vastly outnumbered mortals. The Forsworn have cut a swath through most of our forces. Vanquish their rear guard while I confront Devos. Go in service. You were the paragon of loyalty, Devos. And yet all this time it was you who led the Forsworn. Your blind adherence to the path would have doomed us all. You left me no choice but to oppose you. 
Forsworn, see that the mortals do not interfere. You cannot hide. Listen to reason, devils. The Kyrian must stand united. Not so long as you command them. The Forsworn will forge a new path for Bastion. For eons, we have been told to purify ourselves. To let go of our memories, our identities, our loved ones. All in the name of service. But what do we serve? An impotent arbiter, an oppressive law. Our sacrifices were made for nothing. We sacrifice because we must. Mortal burdens would only impede our sacred duty. No. It was a mortal who exposed the folly of your edicts. As I peered into Uther's memories, what I saw shook me to the core. But you refuse to see the truth. That the path is flawed. That we serve a lie. And so, I listened to the Jailer's words. I learned of the great injustice you and the others thrust upon him, and upon us all. He seeks to free us from the prison we have built for ourselves. And for that, he has earned my loyalty. And I mourn your betrayal. Accept your defeat, Archon. I serve a far greater power now. With your spear in hand, I will take control of the spires and forge new paragons to lead the Kyrian. The Jailer has twisted your mind, Devos. You must be stopped. No matter the cost. What I really like about this Kyrian Forsworn storyline is that there's no clear-cut right or wrong. The Kyrian have a solid reason to walk the path, to give up on their memories, on who they used to be, in order to witness and ferry the souls to the Shadowlands without any judgments. If they did not, you would just end up with a whole bunch of oofers, claiming their vengeance and dictating themselves where these souls belong. But then on the other hand, this, this whole blindly following the path, it has led to a situation where the souls, they're still being brought over and just dropped into the mall, regardless if they belong there or not. How different would this whole situation have been if the Archon just took a moment to listen to devils, to not be afraid of challenging their ruling and their way of life. Then the bit about that they serve a lie, they listened to the Jailer's words and they learned of the great injustice that you and the others thrust upon him and upon us all. He seeks to free us from the prison that we have built for ourselves and for that he has earned my loyalty. Interesting words and we still don't know why the Eternal Ones imprisoned the Jailer besides some kind of betrayal. But we do know that they're the ones responsible for locking him in the maw and that a great deal of anima is required to keep him there. That's what the Kyrian's purpose is. If souls overbrings anima to the Shadowlands, then the Kyrians, they're the ones that fly over these little batteries so they can then be squeezed, molded, fitted perfectly into a cockwheel that is known as this machine of death. One must wonder if the Shadowlands has always been this way, or if the Eternal Ones molded it to fit their design, to fit their prison. Devils is not the first one to listen to the Jailer either and then decide to ally with him. I really wonder what went down in the past, what the Jailer's motivations might be. Right now though, Devils is not willing to sit down and have a little chat. We'll have to end her and save the Spires. No! The path must be abandoned! Devils. <sighs> the Jailer's schemes have torn a schism in the ranks of the Kyrian, one that must be healed. Long have we believed that our mortal lives are burdens to be shed in the name of service. And yet, the deeds of mortals are what won the day. You have my gratitude. Once the Jailer lies defeated, there may be much for the Kyrian to discuss. The death of a paragon of loyalty, it moves the Archon to at least be willing to listen, to discuss the way of afterlife, 
This all ends with us finding a soul mirror, the memory of the time that Uther arrived in Bastion, the whole thing that set this forsworn plague of doubt in motion. This, this contains... <sighs> it is time you saw what few have, Maul Walker. Uther's arrival in Bastion. selfless life and for that you have been chosen chosen to shed your mortal burdens and join the ranks of the ascended serving to ferry the souls of the dead unto the shadowlands i serve the light and my work is not done there is an evil that must be there is no evil here the darkness was sealed within the Maw long ago. You're wrong. He destroyed my home. Murdered my people and my king. He must be punished. You are an aspirant now. You must accept your new purpose and purge yourself of this desire for vengeance. What I desire is justice. Devos, why are you training this soul? It is beneath your station as a paragon. He cannot let go. He continues to demand retribution for his death. And this concerns you? Many souls take eons to ascend. Yes, but this one seems broken, Thenios. Unlike any soul I have seen. I have begun to wonder whether he was deemed worthy of Bastion. By mistake. Be careful, Devos. I would not let the Archon hear such a thought. In time, he will forget. Trust our ways. Trust the path. Devos. How long must we train? Until you are ready to ascend. And what is keeping me from ascension? Nothing but the memory of your mortal life. How can I forget when I can still feel his blade? Your soul is wounded? Who did this to you? He was my student. He betrayed us all. Show me. The runes on his blade were unmistakable. This dark agent runs free on a mortal world with the power of the Maw itself in hand. Our realm is imperiled. Impossible. The Maw is inescapable. You must return to the path. If he had purged his life, we never would have known of this calamity. The path is flawed. Enough! The Order of the Shadowlands depends on the execution of our eternal charge. You will abandon this course. As you command, my Archon.
Sister, the time of your ascension has come. I thought I was not ready. Do you wish to see him punished? I do. Then prepare yourself. The moment he falls, we will claim him. Devos meant well, meant to right a perceived wrong, but Uther was not ready for the trials of ascension. Straying from the path as the embodiment of loyalty itself set Devos' course irrevocably towards doubt, violence. Her hand, Lysonia, quickly joined Uther in following her. As our anima stores waned, their numbers grew. With Devos gone, the Sonia will surely take her place leading the Forsworn. I pray we find peace before their campaign starts anew. Last week, Devos revealed that she was leading the Forsworn, destroying the Crest of Ascension and nearly taking out the Archon. We prevented that and the Devos before she got the story she deserved. But that's not the end of the Forsworn threats. Nysonia and Ufer, they're still out there leading them. We still need more Ascended, and so the crest will have to be repaired. Seeker, I left you in charge. Where are my Forge hands? The Forsworn overran us, took them away, could only save your Goliath. We shall have words later. We must get the hammer back now. No ordinary tools or materials will do. Mechanicos is gonna require Phaestus, Genesis of Aeons, the hammer of the first force light. Passed down for eons, this blessed instrument was a conduit in creating the first of the centurions and the spire of ascension. No surprise that the Forsworn are quite interested in this. They've taken over the place, so we'll have to kick them out. Mechanicos has been tinkering with a Goliath of epic design, perfect to kick them out. But he is gonna need some metal to work with though to finish it up. Metal, also used for our new crest. His tools, soul steel clamps, sparkling drift globe core, and grace pedal incense burner. They'll come in handy. Might as well save the captured forge hands while we're at it. And then it's just a matter of getting that hammer back. Overseer Atticus has harnessed its power to create a centurion army of their own, aimed at crushing the Archon itself. We will succeed, no matter the cost. Before we return to the hold, one more thing to do. Kick out the Forsworn and their Centurion army. Help out Mechanicos with creating that epic Goliath. I built this Goliath with a special core. Now, with Phaestus, I can bind my soul to him. Seeker, keep watch. Hero, apply the reinforced armor. Need... More anima! Friend, help me! I awaken. 
I feel his power within me. I name him Bronn. Oh, you have value. A magnificent. But I have more. Bronn's strength is my strength. Ours. What was that? Centurions, advance! Destroy the intruders! Centurions will overwhelm us! Not to worry. I know what to do. Everyone, hop on! on your power your bond will strengthen him those little forge hands are expert at dismantling the massive constructs even when you just throw them at it the forsworn army it stands no chance against mechanicos's finest creation the swan thoroughly routed let us return bron and i will meet you at elysian hold friend the seeker you are in charge no forsworn attacks try my best the crest is almost complete, and we get the honor of the final touch. With Faces in hand and all the might that we have, we give it one final blow. On this day, we take a major step toward repairing the way of the Kyrian. This new crest will make Ascended even stronger than before. We may need them. My watchers tell me Thenios' suspicions of Lasonia leading the Forsworn have come to pass. And Uther as well, I am afraid. I shall inform the Archon. Rest until we decide our next steps. Come, Bronn. We enjoy fruits of labor. We join Mechanicos in fixing up the Crest of Ascension. And while the base, it's perfection, it is gonna need some more power imbued within. Meanwhile, Zandria, paragon of courage, she has not forgotten the attack on her temple. Margrave Garmo and Margrave Sindane, they're still a threat that roam in Maldraxxus. But we're working together with the Necrolords, we might be able to take out one of them. I will honor our accord. Garmo will fall by our combined might. Alexandros Mograine actually visited Bastion during the Necrolord campaign. He's spoken quite a bit with Zandria. I won't go into details in case you want to experience the campaign for yourself. But the Necrolords, they worked very hard on securing a necropolis, as well as Mograine regaining their honor, forging alliance in Bastion. Which means that both campaigns now work together. Mograine's kin have proved worthy allies and know our foe well. We will strike the eastern flank and they the West. Then we shall converge on Garmal as one. We have our orders. Fight well, Kyrian of Bastion. Take to the skies, Ascended! For Bastion! This day, we bring justice to our fallen brethren and end the foul work here once and for all. It's pretty badass to see the Kyrian take wing like that. A small taste of the all-out war that we prevented. At the same time, the House of Constructs, it has pushed forward with their experiments, and now able to craft massive juggernauts with the Kyrian parts they collected. While Alexandros and Emony are gonna lead the chosen assault on the Western Gate, we direct our forces at the eastern side. Our forces above, they cannot fully descend upon this area, while the Margrave crystals cover the sky in destructive blasts. The flames of courage are placed upon us, allowing us to call Zandria into action to take out these crystals. This power also helps tremendously when we take on Woeblade, born of one of the most pain souls that they've taken from the temple. Pain? Agony? <gasps> As we go along, we also make sure to take out a fair chunk of our enemy's forces and gather scrolls detailing the work of the late Surgeon Stitchflesh, the boss that we taken out at the Necrotic Wake. Their demise did not stop the research on how to mold and shape Kyrian flesh, but best to keep this information out of the hands of our enemies. The western flank is pinned down. Mogre needs reinforcements. Fight well, brothers and sisters. The Margrave will pay. Look how they struggle. Soon the flesh of those chosen exiles and their Kyrian pets will be ours to craft. The Margrave's juggernauts assault Mograine's position below. They are unable to Fight advance. Fight until our last! 
We will not go gently into the night! We've done our job, but Mograine and our allies, they need help securing the western gates. They got the juggernauts bombarding their positions, and conventional weapons do nothing against their imbued hides. Alexandros does have a plan though. We're gonna need to slay our enemies, charge up our room blade, while at the same time, we also clear the sky of rocks and destroy these astral projections that the Margrave is using, using to rally their troops. Our Kyrian juggernauts will vanquish all who dare oppose the House of Constructs. Our, Our new allies have granted us power beyond, beyond imagining. imagining. Sindane's new, new baron spoke true. Bastion was, was only the beginning. Soon all will be bound to our flesh. It's interesting that they will once again make mention of this new baron. New allies hanging out in the House of Rituals. We learned that they have this new baron while we quested through Meldraxxus. Margrave Stradama, she warns us not to trust the Baron as we take her out in the Plaguefall dungeon. This Baron, whoever they are, they have been quite busy. I wonder who it could be. Mysteries to be revealed later. For now, our room blade is all charged up. Time to show the House of Constructs what we can do. Unleash the rune blade's power and destroy Garmel's juggernauts once and for all! Hear me, Chosen! Hear me, Kyrian! The time for our final assault is at hand! Forward! For Maldraxxus! For Bastion! For the Shadowlands! The Zedekris is in position, and Draka is ready to strike. Our forces have control over the House of Constructs, and their Margrave cannot ignore such a massive loss of troops. All that remains is the fall of the instigated themselves, a battle that's been long in the making. What we do now, we do for all of us. Bastion and Meldraxxus, they both lost many to these fiends. United, our forces will finally get justice. Xandria! Are you prepared for the true fight? I have been ready since they sacked my temple. Let us see this done. Is this all you, you could muster? muster? I, I had hoped, hoped for a proper meal. meal. Bluster all you like. It is time to pay for your crimes. You, you mistake, mistake foolishness for bravery, Kyrian. You, you tread, tread in our domain. domain. Give up this madness! The Primus would not stand for this! We should have raided Bastion ages ago! The Primus held us back! Your betrayal sealed your fate! Justice will be done! A barony for the one who brings us the Paragon's Tusk! You had your chance to surrender! Now we will avenge Crexus with Crexus your blood! Crexus was a fool! He paid the price for defying us! And so will you! Face us, Draka! Or will you beg to join our house? As you did that of the Chosen! I implore you to take Garmel's heart. It is a grim task, but it carries his gift of shaping flesh. Its power would enhance your nascent crest of ascension. I... thank you. I will see it done. The Margrave bears the power to shape form in ways that few beings can, and we're going to harness that power into our crest of ascension. It might not be the Kyrian way, but their way is changing, Zandria thinks. Perhaps this is a step on their brand new path. 
It should surprise no one that Mechanicos already prepared the crest to receive such endowments. The honor is yours, Moorwalker. As thanks for your role in our victory against Garmor. Already I feel the crest's power grow. New Ascended will be pivotal against Lysonia and Uther. We should seek further enhancements from the other Covenant's realms. I will discuss the matter with Adrestes. Go in service, Moorwalker. Mechanicos' handiwork is gonna ensure that the heart's energy is channeled properly to aid in our ascension rituals. And its power should also help protect the crest against any further attack. More power is gonna be needed though. And this week, our journey takes us into Revendreth, on the hunt for the Seal of Contrition. Clea, Pelagos, accompany the Palamuk. Moorwalker to retrieve While I this enjoy seal. Pelagos' companionship, I fear that he will struggle to stay hidden without wings to fly out of sight. I appreciate the concern, but I can take care of myself. Consider it a learning opportunity. Seek the curator. I have already sent word for her aid in this matter. This seal is an artifact that embodies repentance, atoning for past mistakes and moving forward. Long ago, many souls from Revendreth arrived in Bastion. Purer souls than they have ever received from the area, they bore the mark of the Seal of Contrition, a focus that expedited their cleansing. This seal was really good at helping souls getting rid of their sins, but the amount of anima that it produced, it was rather lacking. That is why the Nefrius and the Venfir, they quickly stopped using it in favor of more brutal methods. Perfect for our crest though, and the curator, a Venfir whose mind was a little bit lost while hanging out in the mall, she is willing to help us out. It has been quite some time since I've seen a Kyrian. Perhaps you will lend me a feather for my studies. Maybe a dozen. Uh, well, uh... Oh, look! The Mawwalker has arrived. Greetings. Thank the Archon. The Seal of Contrition. Created by a noble by the name of Alwyn, I believe? A brilliant artifact in the art of repentance. I'm afraid its fate, as well as its creators, is lost to me. I know someone who could help, but not willingly. The Countess knows the fates and going-ons of every noble in Revendreth. It is the best way to keep them in her debts. However, she does have a dark secret. Despite what she may say, she was once a mortal. And when dealing with the Countess, one requires a little bit of leverage. She has built a reputation on being a native Venfir, willed into being by the Sire himself. Revealing her Sinstone to the world, it would be catastrophic. So we gather some intel on where exactly she hid it. While we're doing that, we also take down anyone that would report our presence here in Revendreth. We hook up Pelagos with a disguise. As hiding themselves, it turns out to be rather difficult. I will find my way over to Clea and the Curator. Please... Excuse me, uh, mates? Hey, Blue, you trying to ditch us or what? House Primrose cordially invites Houses Darkvane and Sinfang to discuss arrangements vis-a-vis -vis the Countess. Hmm, let us strengthen the new bonds between our families. I did some digging myself. It seems the Countess keeps her sinstone locked away in a crypt. The keys spread amongst nobility as a sign of favor. Hopefully, our friend has found a clue to who may hold these keys then. How may Let I Let me try you? this on. How do I look? I do not believe that will fool anybody, brother. You have a talent for magic. Perhaps an illusion would better serve you. Three houses have found themselves in such good standing with the Countess that they were trusted enough to keep the Mitter Shards leading to her Sinstone safe. Primrose, Darkvane, and Sinfang. They stand no chance while trying to stop us. Now the Countess most likely did not just protect her stone with these mere keys. She is quite fond of curses to protect her gateways. No problem though, these gardens have death lotus petals. Just what the curator needs to protect us. They have made quick work of the vents here in our path. She is truly a sight to behold. Follow me downstairs. Your friends are waiting. 
Pelagos, I am impressed. That is quite the disguise. If I did not know any better, I would think you're a Venthyr of some renown. Thank you. Illusion magic is not quite my forte, but I took a page from the Venthyr's book. Which order With these I... shards and some of my own anima, I will piece this mirror back together. I will go ahead and make sure it is safe. Be careful, Pelagos. We'll be right behind you. Everybody remember to apply the powder to protect yourself. The Countess demands more hands at her tower. I am to take over here. Sir, we are not supposed to leave our posts for any reason. At once, or I shall tell the Countess to take away your... wine. Yes, sir. At once, sir. I... I did it? I did it! Let us go! I stand with you. The Countess's Sinstone will be ours. You will never defeat me, Kyrian. I have failed you! Take the Sinstone. Countess. Let us leave here before we are caught. Pelagos, that was amazing. You really pulled through with that disguise. Really? Oh, thank you, Clea. With her Sinstone in hand, we travel through the mirror ready to blackmail the Countess into helping us. Except, she kinda knew that we were coming. Ah, just who I was expecting. Curator, my dear. Did you really think I would not hear of your little plan? Come along. We should speak in private. Keep on your guard. The Countess is not one to mess with. It seems you have found my Sin Stone, and you have come to return it to me. So the Moorwalker does not think you came to threaten me. Let us choose our words carefully. But we are all friends here. Please eat. Then we will discuss your problem. Since we agree you are not here to blackmail me, why did you seek my attention? We are looking for a particular object, Countess. One that was once in noble hands. I assume you know of the Seal of Contrition. Ah, yes. Surrounded by some amount of drama, was it not? Yes. But first, you have something for me? Some time ago, Alan created the Seal of Contrition to aid in extracting anima from the souls in his care. The seal was seen as a failure by most. Yes, it purged sins from souls quickly. But the amount of anima produced was... lacking. When Denathrius found out about this wasteful relic, he exiled Alwyn to the Ember Ward. Nobody has seen him, or the seal, since. That is all I know. Now be gone, before this stops being amusing. The Ember Ward is not a place any Venfir wants to find themselves at, as it is a light scorched land. Our good friend Duke Viotar knows the area and its people. He'll be able to send us in the right direction. Alwyn! You have visitors, my friend. Shortly after Alwyn fell mad to the light, the seal was stolen by a disposed duke who aimed to harness its power for himself. We have recently tracked him down and were discussing next steps. Your timing is serendipitous as always. Even Clea believes that the denizens of the Ember Ward have suffered enough for their mistakes. The late, it is going too far in his punishment. As we follow Alwyn to Duke Viel and the seal, we make sure to also take out any of the outcasts that are hoarding the shade for themselves, and we collect some berries. Clea is gonna impart some anima into them, creating a healing self to soothe the Ash Ghoul's wounds, ease their pain, if only for a little. With the power of the you seal, have my hammer, friend. I shall control the entirety of the Ember Ward. You can never defeat me! I perish with my sins Finally, on my path the seal to is glory! Within our 
That is wonderful news indeed. I am sure your Kyrian will be quite pleased. I must admit, I am sad to see you go. I have learned much from you, Curator. I believe there are many similarities in our ways and the Venthyrs. We all must face our pasts. It seems we have all learned something in this endeavor, Pelagos. Indeed, nobody can run forever. Thank you all, once again. Come, brother. Let us return home. Holomark, Walker. I have something you need to see. The Archon's faithful work to rebuild the Crest of Ascension, empowered by the other Covenants. Go, my Forsworn. Finish preparations. The new dawn must rise soon. I shall inform the Archon. The Seal of Contrition represents many things. Repentance, remorse, cleansing yourself of your past mistakes and moving forward from them. Its power brought souls to Bastion, and now it shall help bless our aspirants with their wings. Go in service, knowing that your achievement has brought us one step closer to restoring the sanctity of our order. We picked up the Seal of Contrition from Revendreth, added its power to our new Crest of Ascension. One more slot remains to be filled, one more zone to visit, eons ago. The original crest was crafted with the assistance of the Fae. Deep within Ardenweald lies a portal that they maintain to ferry souls back to their worlds. It's a source of great power and the final key to rebuilding the crest. Pelagos has gone on ahead of us to set up a meeting. It is time to request the aid of the Winter Queen. Bastion has ever been a faithful ally. Speak, child of the Archon. Your Grace, the Crest of Ascension has been destroyed. We request the aid of Ardenweald's magic to forge a new one. Our groves teem with the magic you seek, but only a vessel of Ardenweald can contain such power, and they are precious to us. My Queen, I will help the Kyrian prepare a vessel. Such a vow must not be made lightly, Willow Blossom. Souls cannot enter the Shadowlands without the Ascended. I understand what is asked of me, and I swear to see it through. Then your pledge is made. Prepare the vessel for the ritual. Looks like we're gonna be fast friends. Race you downstairs. Bastion thanks you, Your Grace. It's Willow Blossom that steps up to help us out, but we can't conduct the ritual without a very special guest. Grubby is a Silk Strider larva and her best friend that needs to be there. Unfortunately, the nasty Spriggans took him. What's even worse is that they cast illusions on what they steal, so no one can take it back. Now a bit of trickster powder will let us reverse the illusion and rescue Grubby. While we're there, we also pick up a sickle form to-do list. Trinkle, the silk eater, they have a plan to steal silk strider larvae and cook them up for dinner. A spriggan in a cooking hat, now we've seen it all, best to put a stop to their plans. Meanwhile Pelagos, they're on the hunt for the seed that we're going to need. Next up on our list to prepare the vessel is a set of night veil flowers. Normally, they use them in their ceremonies, but since the droughts, they've just used them as props in their plays. They'll have some backstage at the Star Lake Amphitheater. We are in the middle of rehearsal! Ooh, I know! Let's disguise ourselves with some leftover trick powder. Hey! You with the tree! Get to your mark! <sighs> That's not right! Move the tree to the other side! Perfect! Okay, everyone take a break. Now's our chance. Head backstage. 
Let's play a little prank on Moonberry. It's only fair she gets pranked sometimes, too. Her dressing room is across from here. It's time for the burning of Teldrassil scene! Where is the tree? I always... Uh, we better go. So, these are not the right seeds, then? Ugh, you must have said blue seed with red leaves. Pelagos got red seeds instead of blue, but they can still be useful. Claw's Edge is dealing with a bit of a gorm infestation and a whole bunch of mites that might look cute now, but they will soon grow into horrible gorm themselves. The red seeds will let us burn their young while slaying the adults, and then we burn away into the cave where a ripe anima seed awaits. Picking it up has the ground tremble as the burrowed gorm awaken. Look at all the gorm! We've got to stop them before they overrun the forest. We can use some of the seeds to stop them. That should do it. The Wild Hunt will handle the remaining Gorm. Oh no! We're late for the ritual! Lady Moonberry, I would never play such a prank on you. A thorn in my side until the last. I wouldn't have it any other way. Grubby, I'm so glad I got to see you before I go. Goodbye, my sweet little friend. Before you go? What do you mean? Only a vessel of Arden Weald can contain the power of the Grove. Willow, you? You are the vessel? No! There must be another way! Don't be sad for me, Pelagos. I've spent my whole life serving the Force. This is my chance to help all of the Shadowlands. My final night was wonderful. I'm so happy you were here to share it with me. I am ready, my queen. Willow. Thank you. Bastion will never forget what you have given us. I will make certain of it. You go on ahead. I just need a moment. <laughs> I am humbled to learn of Ardenweald's noble sacrifice on our behalf. Come, let us meet Pelagos at the crest. I am comforted knowing that Willow Blossom lives on and will be part of every new Ascended. You have both done a great service to our people. Now, we must seal our Reborn Crest's power to safeguard it from future assault. When Devos shattered the Crest, she sought to shatter the bonds between us. With the Maul Walker's aid, we have persevered. Our reforged Crest stands stronger than ever before. We can once again ascend our ready aspirants and reclaim our realm from the Forsworn. Glory to the Archon. Glory to Bastion. Poor Willow Blossom. What a hero. Their essence has secured a future for not just the Kirin of Bastion, but for all of the Shadowlands. One day, we shall repay the favor to our friends in Arnawield. But right now, our gaze is drawn towards Lysonia. Ufer and a Forsworn. I have increased patrols as requested, Polymark. Forsworn activity has increased of late. Drastically. Devos's successor, Lysonia, poses a grave threat. I will send our bearers to learn of her plans at once. Thank you. None of this would be possible without you, my friend. Now, our attention can once again fully focus on Lysonia 
Ufer and the Forsworn. They've wasted no time either and are on the attack at the Temple of Humility. Those poor Aspirants! The Forsworn are forcing them to succumb to their pride in order to bolster their armies. There's the Paragon! He stands against Lasonia alone. Where are his disciples? There! Though the Disciples of Humility are cornered, Voida holds strong. By the Archon's grace, aid has arrived. My soldiers are wounded, and it takes all I have to keep them stable. The Paragon is up near the temple proper, facing Lasonia on his own. Kyrus is strong. He chose to risk himself to draw her attention away from the Disciples. That should buy us some time. I will stay to hear your reports of what happened here, while our friend investigates the Forsworn. Our enemy is ransacking their library, looking for specific text amongst their archives. The scrolls throughout these temples, they cover many topics, from information on different worlds, to training pillars, to ancient rituals. But their focus is on one of their strongest rituals, detailing a powerful rite of humility. Best to keep that information out of their hands. Now, as we move across the grounds, we save burdened aspirants from the Forsworn rituals, while also charging up compassion, blade of humility. The Paragon chased Lysonia in such a rush that he left his sword behind. It's gonna be a great use to us, after we charge it up with some anima taken by killing manifestations. Lysonia! Your self-import shall be your downfall. You must return to the path. Ever the idealist, Paragon. You shall crumble under my will. He is not breaking. Double your efforts. As you command. More power! Kill him if you must! Lusonia, I... Do not question me! Do it! You were once one of the most loyal to our ways, to our Archon. You must repel these dark thoughts. You can save your followers. Save yourself. Enough of these foolish games! Uther, finish this, damn you! You must stop Lysonia's ritual. We cannot allow her to overpower the Paragon. I must find the Paragon. Compassion should be more than enough aid for you on the ground. Ma energy is spewing forth across these sacred grounds by use of their anima collectors. We destroy them while also defeating the Forsworn forces so they can no longer abuse our people. The collectors have been disrupted. We are losing power. It matters not, Uther. We have all that we need. You are too late, Ma Walker. Soon your precious Paragon will succumb to the pride. Reveal yet. your pride to us, Paragon! You force your view on others, your own failings. I have worked for eons. To become the embodiment of my principles. Leave your plaything, my pet. There is work to be done. Ah! Come, Uther. Our purpose is greater than these fools. I see only darkness. Hell yeah, once again shows up. You might recall how during questing, she helped out with the attack on the Temple of Courage. Now she reveals herself once again as the true master behind the Forsworn. And so, our pursuit takes us back, back into the Maw. I will take compassion with me and meet you in Ouroboros. I must prepare myself. This is not a journey most Kyrian will ever make. We just jump in, into the well of souls being carried to their eternal damnation? With little hope of freedom and redemption? Do a flip! Well, I guess I have my wings to save me if something goes wrong. I trust you. I have tracked Lasonia to beyond these gates. My initial scouting was worrisome. As it turns out, the Mossworn are forcing the Forsworn into their ranks. 
keep in mind that most of them were never told about their connection to the Ma. Truth be told, that whole setup of devils and Lysonia embracing the powers of this dark realm, it's still not entirely clear. We know that Devils spoke with the Jailer, but the full details, how that conversation came to be, it's still left somewhat in the dark. Did he just shout really loudly when they were dropping Arthas in there? Who knows, but that information, it was not shared with everyone. Ufer certainly didn't know about this, and more eyes are being opened. Now, despite them being forsworn, enemies of the Archon, they're still Kyrian, so we make sure to save them, while taking out those already too far gone. My soul bears the mark of this place. I see now the part you had to play. You were the key to our true destiny. My destiny. I feel a familiar energy pulling me to the west. We must stop whatever Lasonia and her master have planned. Take his power, Lasonia. Use him to fuel your transformation. You have been a useful pawn, Uther. Devos may have treasured you, but I have no further need. I see my future clearly. The Archon shall fall by my blade, and Bastion will be mine. It seems you have guests, Paragon. Do take care of them. You are beneath me, Kyrian. I am the Paragon of Doubt, and I have little patience for your continued interruptions. Attack! Do not fail me, Lysonia. Prove that you are worthy of your newfound power. Of course, Master. These minions of the Archon are nothing. Lysonia, why? I see now the part you had to play. You were the key to our true destiny. My destiny. We sought to save our people, not bind them to such darkness. You were always too weak to follow the true path. Devils should have left you to rot in that field. Do not think you have won. The next time we meet shall be the last. Come, Uther. Let me get you to safety. The brand new Paragon of Doubt just flies away and leaves us there. Well, hell yeah, she's just chilling on the sidelines, doesn't do a whole lot against us. I'm really curious what Helia's ultimate goal is, besides taking out the Archon. We know that she was brought to the Jailer's side by Muzala, but when exactly that happened is uncertain. Hell yeah, she started her life as a Titanforge sorceress, who was then forcefully transformed into the first of the Valkyr, which was done by Keeper Odin. He needed a way to transport worthy spirits up to his Halls of Valor. And by sacrificing one of his eyes to, once again, Muzala, he saw the Shadowlands and he learned what he needed to know. Transformed, Helia was forced to obey, turned more into Valkyr, ferried the souls without any choice. That is, until Keeper Loken offered her way out. He would break Odin's control, and in exchange she would use her powers to lock Odin and all those who followed him within the Halls of Valor. After that, she set up base in her new domain of Helheim, until many years later, heroes of the world, they teamed up with Odin, and they took her out. Now we see her, once again, enforcing a transformation, a servitude upon others, not to mention that whole deal she had with Sylvanas and Legion. I'm curious where this story is going to go, what Helia might do within the Shadowlands, but right here, right now, Ufer's eyes, they've seen the truth. The darkness behind the Forsworn, and we can't just let them rot away within the Maw. The Haste is more important than stealth now. Let us fly to the Waystone and escape the Maw quickly. I must thank you for saving me from Lysonia's abuse. I fear that there would be nothing left of me if you had not intervened when you did. How do you fare, Uther? I am in pain, 
But nothing I have not felt before. My wounds shall heal. Though we may be enemies, it would not have been right to leave you to suffer. I believe we are quite alike, Claire. Perhaps one day we can speak more of that. For now, let us escape this wretched place. Where do you go now, Uther? Surely you do not return to the Forsworn. No, child. The Forsworn are not what I once thought. I doubt they ever were. I must find peace and isolation. I have much to consider. Some important reflection. I understand well. I hope you find what you seek. As do I. Thank you. Lysonia has escaped. A problem to deal with for another day. The Archon shall convene the Paragons to discuss our next moves. At the very least, we were able to save the Temple of Humility, and its power shall flow back into the Crest of Ascension once more, making it even more magnificent as its power grows. We make ready for our final confrontation. We have defeated the Forsworn at every turn, saved those that were not too far gone, routed them from our most blessed Archon's temples. Now only one of them remains, the Temple of Loyalty. Lysonia has rallied her most fervent loyalists to the temple, knowing that we're going to come for her. We're going to need the full might of the Paragons to finish this once and for all. Why have you called us? Uther is missing. And Lysonia has turned to the Maw itself. Madness has truly taken her to accept that witch Helia's offer. She must pay for her hubris. If we are to assault loyalty, we must strike now. Her power still grows. Bring everything to bear, my paragons. This false movement ends this day. Moorwalker, rally our forces from our reclaimed temples. We will clear a staging ground. All that Bastion has to muster is rallied for this final confrontation. At the Temple of Purity, we call upon the Watchers, but they're dealing with a problem of their own. We are losing her. She was Lysonia's soulbind. She cannot hope to aid us against her in this state. Restore the Vespers to stabilize her. Lysonia. My fault. My soulbind. The Maw. I am in your debt. I was nearly lost. My Watchers will keep our forces fighting until the day is ours. Glory to Persephone. Glory to the Archon. Glory to Bastion! The betters are gathered at the Temple of Courage. Even now, they're still fighting with the invading forces of Maldrexus. We will finish dealing with these monstrosities another day. For every bearer that falls, it shall be on top of ten Forsworn corpses. The call of battle awaits, Ascended. Onward to victory! Our centurions are gathered at the Eternal Forge. A whole army stands ready to go. Yes, yes! Sigur always ready! Time is precious! Okay, just like practice. Time to fight! Follow Sika! And then finally, our collectors at the Ionian Archives. Pelagos came seeking to gather the collectors to aid your task, but was consumed by doubt of the battle to come. We will need his skills on the battlefield. You must help him overcome this. Ugh, not strong enough. Ugh, ugh, not good enough. Ugh. This is your fate. Uh, Embrace I, it. Uh, can... not... 
Uh, do this. I... No. We can do this. I am not alone. What a powerful progression for our Pelagos. Where at the start, he was overcome during the trial and was needing saving. They then kept him out of danger from time to time, thinking that he couldn't handle it. But he has learned much and is now able to get through the trial. You will never ascend. All you will ever be is Clea's lackey. You are wrong. We are stronger together. All three of us. You will fall at the Temple of Loyalty. You will join the Forsworn! Not without a fight! I had failed that trial so many times, but not today. Well done. You finally conquered your deepest doubts. Though our numbers dwindle, we will never falter. The Archon calls, and her collectors answer. Our time has come, Ascended. Today, the Forsworn Menace ends once and for all. Our Paragons will each lead a strike from the flanks. Moorwalker, you will push straight ahead with our largest force. We follow your lead. Glory to the Archon! Glory to Bastion! Charging right in, are we? Subtlety never was Curestia's strength. Witness the full glory of the Forsworn! Our strike team offers us three special abilities. We can direct Clea to charge at a target, which deals arcane damage and stuns nearby enemies. We can direct Mechanicos to toss a supercharged canister, which will explode and deal arcane damage to nearby enemies. Or we can direct Pelagos to etch a Sigil of Clarity into the ground, which increases our haste. The Forsworn army is not gonna know what hit them. You killed recruits, nothing more. Others shall take their place. My champions will not fall so easily. Lysonia, it is not too late to give up this madness. We are all Kyrian. Silence, you know how this aspirant. ends. You, know you will share Devil's fate. I had to give up my memories. You my... dare speak her name? What my paragon... You think yourself righteous. Yet you killed your kin without cause. I will continue her work. That is the great hypocrisy of the Archon. If that went just a little bit too fast for you, Lysonia says similar things like devils did. They're not down with giving up their past who they used to be for this flawed path of the Archon. Rain death upon them! It is not your time. Rise and fight on! They are still standing! Again! Colossus Anima Low must recharge. Then charge it! Drain our Centurions if you have to! The way is clear to the south. We must hurry! We will keep their reinforcements at bay. Push onward! Persistent, aren't you? Buy us time! The Truthbringer is nearly recharged. Stop them, curse you! Athanos, give every last drop of your anima if you must. Wait, Athanos? I yes, my paragon. In case you forgot, Athanos humiliated us during our earlier quest in Bastion, showing any and all aspirants that there's always more to learn. Surely you remember your training in the Crucible. He was quite easy to turn. Anything but him. Tone unacceptable. Removing lethality restrictions. I said destroy them. Why are they still alive, Goliath? Must I do everything myself? You will not stop my destiny. Not when I am so close. Taste my steel! Get over here! I will clear the arena. The gateway to the temple is just north of here. Archon's eyes upon us all. I cannot hold them for much longer. Get to the gateway. 
The day is almost ours, Moorwalker. Claim it. For us all. We may have lost the Spires, but we were not without victory. Its anima is ours. I will finish what Devos started. We will no longer be thralls to the Archon, blinded by the path. Carestia is right. The Shadowlands are broken. But to fix them requires strength of will. Strength she lacks. Step forward, so you may disappoint me as Uther did. This is your last chance. Your forces lie defeated all around you. You have already lost. Foolish aspirant. If you are all that is left to face me, then it is you that have lost. Is that all you have? Show me the strength of the Archon. Seize the victory you so desperately crave. I can show you your past. Give this realm a future. Abandon the Archon's lies and join me. I will never abandon my kin as you have. Never! The day is already mine. Thanks to your little assault, the Archon is undefended for the first time. Once the Archon falls, even your precious paragons will see the truth. The rest of our forces are retreating to the hold as well. I only hope we are not too late. If the Archon falls, Bastion would be hers. We will prevent any more of her army from advancing on the Archon. I swear it. You must defeat Lasonia at any cost. Come, Ma Walker. Bear witness to the Archon's end. Terestia, your reign ends on this day. The Kyrian will follow a new master. Empty threats ascended. Your master serves you only lies. Such power, yet so blind. Allow me to lift the veil from your eyes, my Archon. Now! All the memories purged, the lives forgotten. They will have justice! We have become more than our pasts. Can't you see that? And what has that led to? Aspirants unable to ascend. Centurions rotting in the fields. Those are outside of our control. As long as we follow the path, we can work through them, together. The path you walk- You are all nothing before the Maw! Uther's shattered soul opened the Maw's power to me. Now I will show it to you firsthand. Have you lost your mind, Lysonia? To become one with such darkness is to forsake all that it means to be Kyrian. I will stand by the Forsworn no longer. I would rather forget my past than make this our future. Justice will be done. Lysonia's champion is fighting against her. Impossible! Uh, what I saw! Oh. Your service is complete. As for you, Uther. My Archon, I ask for your mercy. I did not understand. It is granted, for now. Your actions this day have shown me much. 
We shall discuss your fate in time. Until then, you may stay here under guard. During beta times, it was indeed Ufer's fate, staying here in Elysian Hold, but they've made a small change. Take him to the Eternal Watch until our Archon has considered his fate further. I implore you to place Uther under my care. We must understand what ails him so. I suspect there is much we do not yet know. I too would like to understand. Please, lead the way. My training as an aspirant was difficult. I remembered nothing of my life. Every time I close my eyes, I see my death. I see him standing before me. That cursed blade in hand. Devos convinced me that my death was wrong. She promised me justice. What we did to him was not justice. It was vengeance. Lysonia was no different. I did not know that they wielded the same darkness. Thank you for showing me mercy. I will not forsake it. We all have much to learn, Uther. Come, let us speak further at my temple. Mechanicos has had so much fun with us that they're winning to Soulbind. A steward Soulbinding with an outsider. Times are certainly changing. And with the Temple of Loyalty once again under our command, its power makes our quest of ascension even greater. That's where the Kyrian campaign ends for the moment, leaving us with an Uther that has a whole lot of thinking to do. His soul was broken by Frostmourne, a power that ended up on Azeroth due to the Jailer's actions, as he has ripped the designs from the Rune Carver. This wound led the devils questioning the path placed upon him by the Archon, the birth of the Forsworn and the powers of the Maw trying to claim this domain. Their master Helia tried to tear down the Archon, first with devils and then through Lysonia. Now the step between dropping Arthur's soul in the Maw and devils allying herself to the Jailer, having conversation with him, wielding the powers of the Maw, they're not fully explained and I hope they will play a part later on. The Archon also seems to have a lot of hate for her former brother Zoval. She calls him a monster, a betrayal that led to him getting locked up within the Maw. Once again, those details are still kept in the dark, which is honestly pretty great. It makes you wonder what could have happened here. Apparently Devils, she thought that the imprisonment was wrong. That this whole system of giving up who he used to be to ferry souls without judgment so that their anima can be used to keep the Jada locked away. That all of that was not worth it. That the path was flawed. What exactly happened there? What did they discuss? And I can't wait to see it further explained. Then for ranking, as a lot of you have asked me how I would rank the different Covenant campaigns. The Kyrian one, I'll place at spot 3, although it's close to spot 2. The Ufer, Arthas, Devils, Jailer storyline, it is super interesting, with the Afterlife's episodes being my absolute favorites. I do however think that the campaign jumped the shark, with Devils being a boss in the Spires of Ascension. Not only did that ruin the surprise of Devils betraying the Archon, as the dungeon it was available before the campaign caught up, it also pretty much dropped the whole moral of the story in that dungeon. The whole portion of why the Forsworn came to be, and that the Kyrian must reflect on the path that they walk, that change might be needed, that's pretty much all covered in the dungeon. In my opinion, it would have been much better to swap Lysonia with Devils. Have Lysonia be the boss in the Spires, keep it vague as to who she's allied with, then the reveal of Devils would actually have been a surprise, and the idea of, oh right, both sides, they make some valid arguments. What exactly happened between the Jailer and the other Eternal Ones? That could have been a great closure to the campaign. That's just my opinion though. By all means, let me know yours in the comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching everyone. Subscribe if you like my videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. And until next time, see ya!